हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर नेक्स्ट ट्यूटोरियल ऑन पोजीशनिंग पोजीशनिंग इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ अ डिप इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द पोजीशनिंग पोजीशनिंग इज नोन एज एडवांस लेआउटिंग इन डिप फ्रेंड्स आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द एडवांस लेआउटिंग इन डिप इट्स वन ऑफ द वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट एंड इफ यू गो इन अ इंटरव्यू लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चंस विल बी आस्क्ड रिलेटेड टू द पोजीशनिंग what is positioning positioning means placement of a div with different different behaviors so i am talking about there are four kinds of positioning of a div first is known as static that is by default whatever we are doing that is known, that is a default position is a static second is relative third is absolute fourth is fixed so these are four parts of positioning first is known as static second is relative third is absolute and fourth is fixed these are the very very important parts of a div i am telling you so whatever we are doing by default we are not specifying anything why because we are using a static position now what i will do i am going to be tell you about the relative and absolute and fixed but i will put some conditions in front of you so that you can understand why is it used actually okay so guys what i am doing i am just clicking on html and just saving this page as static okay so i am creating a internal css because i will create a different different pages and every page have their as a css inside it so this is my first container that is known as wrapper inside this wrapper i am creating a three div inside it okay first c1 c2 and c3 now what i will do i will put a css now i say c1 even has a width of 300 pixel has a height of 300 pixel float left and background color same thing i'm doing with this same thing i'm doing with this i'm saying c2 and c3 putting a different different color so that you can understand ki which div is related to which container So you can see what I have done. I have created a three zip that contains a different different color. Okay, and uh, I am also giving some color to the wrapper so that it is very easily to understand you about the wrapper. Okay, and I am making this zip as 400 so that it will be fitted to the row. Okay, now you can see what I want. I want to move this container from here to the left side. so what i will do i will say margin left if i am doing margin left so what happen it will give a gap from the left side you can see there is no space that's the reason that this container is going to be down if i will say margin left then what happen this will come give a give, give a space but if i will give this thing minus then what happen it will not go on the right side it will go it will come to the left side you can see i hope it will not visible to you so what i am doing i am also giving some margin to this zip from the top so that it is it will be easily easily visible to you it is giving a gap from the top you can see it is overlapping the sleeve wherever i want to do overlapping i can use this technique i can also make it 50 you can see guys whenever i move this container this will also come to the left the c3 okay got it this is the way to do overlapping but don't be confused 
I will tell you this thing by another method also, and I will tell you what is the difference between these two methods. Now, what I will do, I will do the same thing in the C3. So the C3 will also overlap the C2. You can see. But right now, my requirement is changed. What I want, I want this C2 will overlap the C1 as well as C3. This will I am not able to do it in static. Why? Because I can do overlapping, but whatever the container that I want at the top of another one, I cannot do it. Why? Because I don't have a property of Z index. What is Z index? Z index is the layer type values. Z index is the layer type values for assigning the div at the top. Whatever the div that I want. At the top of another, I have to give the Z index as highest as possible. Okay, so what I will do, I am going to change this page as a relative, okay, because Z index only work with relative, absolute, and fixed. It will not work with the static. Keep in your mind, always keep in your mind. So now what I will do, I will make the C2 as relative. Okay. After making it relative, I will say that index. We will assume whatever the div that is coming by default have a that index zero. So whenever I will give position, it will automatically take more than zero. But it's not show in all the browsers. So I am stressing find the that index because all the div is by default zero. So I am giving it one so that now it will come according to my requirement. You can see. C2 is coming at the top of C1 and C3. Why? Because I have given the position as relative and I am giving Z index. Why I have given relative? Because Z index needs some positions to be applied. And I, by default, I have given static. So I am giving relative so that it will work. Okay. So whatever the div that you want at the top, give the highest Z index. Okay. If now I want C3 at the top of C2, I can give position relative, then next three it will come. But this is whatever we have done that is done by the margin system. Okay, if supposed to be there is a requirement that will come in the future where I want this will go there, but this will not uh, move from their original position. This will remain in the same position. So I have to use a placement. Placement is guys like a margin, but Placement can work only with the positioning part. It will not work the static part. Okay, so same is like margin is same like uh, placement. I say left, top, bottom, and right. These are four properties that we can use with the placements. So what I am doing right now, I am saving as this page as giving a relative to. Now whatever I have given, I will remove this. Okay. By margin, I will do this thing by the position. Okay. Now you can see, I am showing to you this page in the browser. It is working fine. Now I want to move C2 to in, in the C1. So there are two ways. I can either pull from the right, or I can make it minus left. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So what I will do? I will say uh, even right. I can move. Okay. So you can see, it will move to the right. It will move to the left one. Why? Because I have pulled it from the right. Okay. But C3 remains the same area. This is the benefit of the positioning. There are some requirement that we have in the layouting. We want the layout. The container that is coming nearby it. It will not move. So we use by the placement. And if I want, it will go with this container. So I use margin. Same thing. Now I can do this kind of things from the minus left. The same part will come. You can see. So why? Because this is known as positioning. And I have given minus left. Minus left is equal to right 50. Okay. Hope you guys got it. You can see. If I will do zoom out, it will not go anywhere. Okay. This is the first behavior of a relative. The second behavior is also coming after some time. But before the second behavior. I am going to be start about the absolute. So there are uh, 
two behaviors of absolute. First is without a relative, and second is with a relative. Okay. So what I am doing right now, I am giving this page as absolute, and uh, after giving an absolute, I will say instead of relative, I will say absolute. So you can see, when I, whenever I apply the absolute, it becomes a free div. It is not taking the placement from the near div. It is taking the placement from the browser window. Okay. I say left 50. Okay. Instead of minus, I say left 50. Now what happened? It is. It will not come near after the C1. It is coming from related to the browser. You can see. It is taking the left from the browser. If something I want to touch with the browser and I don't want, this div will take a place and this div will take their space. So I can use absolute and absolute is one of the very important div and keep in mind one thing whenever I want to touch anything to the browser I don't want it will take their space so I will use absolute okay so now I am going to tell you one more thing if absolute is there it is taking the placement now what I will do if I will uh, move this uh, C2 anywhere in the website it will come at the same position. Why? Because it is taking the placement from the browser window. And it is now going down. Why? Because it is outside the. I can also give the top. This is open. You can see it will come to the top. Why? As I am telling you, it is taking the placement from the browser window. It is not taking the placement from the containers itself. Okay, this is known as absolute. Now, going ahead with absolute and relative together. Guys, there are lots of the requirement will come in the website. We have to use our relative and absolute together. I will tell you some requirement and I hope you will understand that requirement. So I am say absolute too. Keep in mind one thing, absolute will take the person from the browser window as I told you. But if I will put absolute inside the relative, then it will not take the placement from the browser window. It will take the placement from the relative itself. You can see, I am putting the C2 inside the wrapper and wrapper I am making as relative. You can see, it will not take the placement from the browser window. It will take the placement from the wrapper itself. Okay. You can see, this is C2. If C2 I can move from top 50. And you can see. This is C2. It is work for me as a overwriter. Okay. And now where is the requirement that comes? Supposed to be if I will tell you there is an image inside. Keep in your mind one thing. I don't want an image as a background. I have a requirement where I have to use an image as an image. So what I will do? I will make this container as relative. And I will put an IMG SRC. And inside this container, I will create a one more container and giving the uh, position as absolute so that it will come at the top of this one. I am showing you an example so that you have a very better understanding about this. Okay, removing all stuff, okay. leaving one more container. Okay, leaving all stuff. Okay, I have left only C1 here in this C1. I am putting an image. I will copy some image. Supposed to be, I am copying the image of the desktop Sunil Grover image. And I say, save as, I say, paste. Now, I have an image. Okay. And that image contain some size supposed to be 300 by 300 or whatever the size I don't mind about this okay I am making this container as relative got it now you can see in the browser it will showing it's showing now I want to put some text at the top of this okay so what I will do I will put a text. I am putting hands Sunil Grover. Suppose to be. 
and putting some content stuff here. You can see content will come after the image. Why? Because it's a default behavior of a div after the image. Image is also taking their space. But now what I will do? You can see instead of in the container, I will put this content as a text. Okay. Now it will also show down. But now what I will do? I will make this position absolute. Say top zero. Say left zero. Then it will go to the top of this. Why? Because the image is a relative. And I told you, if anything that will come inside the relative, it will take the placement from the relative itself. So guys, this technique will help you in the future a lot of time means a lot of time. Okay. This will only done by this kind of things. We don't have any other way to do it. Wherever we have a slideshow supposed to be, if supposed to be this is a slideshow of JavaScript and I want to put some content at the top of the slideshow, I can only do like by this. But we don't have any kind of other technique. Okay. So this is a difference between the relative and absolute. Relative will take the placement from the nearest container but in the relative if I put absolute so it will take the absolute will take the placement from the relative itself and uh, absolute will take the placement from the browser if it's without the relative okay now I am telling you about the fix fix guys it's like same but fix is just a fixed container it is just a sticky okay like in the Facebook you can see the right side chat button is a fixed it is not going anywhere okay so if I will say position fixed this container okay and I am giving some left zero okay and I am putting this thing inside the wrapper I am giving 10,000. I am giving sorry, height. I am giving 8,000. I am giving 8,000. Okay. And I say margin auto. And I say background. You can see, guys, what happened. I am removing the text stuffs. Okay. And put it inside the wrapper. Okay. You can see. I will go. It is just a fixed sticky to me. It will not go anywhere. It is just a fixed sticky. Okay. So whenever you want to fix anything in the website, you can use position fixed and give some position. Always it will take the placement from the browser window itself. Okay. Guys, this is known as positioning of a div. If you like our tutorial, please subscribe our channel, Ashwini Bhatia. Thanks for watching us live. Like, subscribe and share. Thank you.